What's up, everybody? It is Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at Le Poussin Rouge, and today we are here with Aaron from Yob. Thank you so much for your time, man. Yo, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's so good to have you here. Our Raw Heart is your latest record. It is very beautiful. I know that there was a lot of a huge concept behind it. The first question I want to ask, actually, is how is Mike feeling? Uh, because I know that a lot of this record was based on what he was going through. Man, he's feeling a little rough today, but as far as the whole tour goes, the first 14 shows... He's been feeling fucking great. Like, way better, I think, than we all thought he was going to be feeling after rocking and, you know, partying a little bit. But uh, he's been taking it pretty easy. Just feeling a little rough today. Yeah. But all in all, dude, he's on the up and up, and he's, he's doing great. Yeah, that's really good to hear. Now, being that this record was obviously very, um, uh, was a concept record based on everything he was going through, I heard from reading about it that this record was actually written while he was in the hospital. In a, way. A, a, a lot of it was worked out. We had about three songs finished before, before that happened. And then um, he did a lot while he was sick. You know, wow. He worked on stuff that we already had and then came up with a bunch of new stuff. And, you know, we didn't jam for about six months. And then once we got back together, right around like July, I think it was, um, he unleashed everything he'd been working on. And um, we got right to work and man, everything came together pretty damn fast, faster than ever. And we were really excited with what he came up with while we were apart. Absolutely. Now, what, would you say that the whole concept behind this record, did that obviously it affected like the lyrics and stuff, but mm -hmm. how much did it have an impact on the music itself as well? Man, it impacted the three of us, I think, uh, interpersonally, very heavily. It gave us uh, like a renewed, just we felt very lucky that we could still play together and that Mike was still alive for one, but also that we were still playing music and just was like a huge smack in the face reminder of how fucking great it is to be able to play together and you know reminded us how much we love each other as friends and and just playing together so um that really infused itself into the writing of it and um just the whole attitude we had attacking these songs there was a lot of passion for lack of a better word or just like a lot of excitement and just gratitude to be jamming still and things just snowballed really quickly and um, I think it's my favorite record we've done together absolutely when a concept like this happens it seems like there is like there's when you know I mean not to at all make light of what obviously you, the band was going through but it almost seems like when you are making a concept record based off your own personal experiences nothing seems to be forced you guys know what you went through better than anybody else so you, for sure yeah 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 I it was just that's all we wanted to do that's all we were doing was working on the material and it was very things just happened really naturally and the flow of creativity was heavier than ever that's so so awesome to hear yeah now one thing i was really curious about with this record you have songs that range from like six and a half minutes to a song like uh beauty of falling leaves which is like 17 and a half minutes in the eyes of yob and you know you it's nothing new you guys have had variety of song lengths in the yeah. eyes of yob how do you know when a song is actually finished man it's really about mike at that point like how he feels the song vocally you know he'll he'll see kind of this needs to go longer or um, he always he just thinks in the scheme of like very big songs and um, it's never like a conscious thing I think that's another thing that happens naturally is he will feel like this this needs to go longer or this and needs these extra places to grow because it's it's really a, about the song and not necessarily about making a big piece of music but serving just following the music and the riffs and um, giving it what it needs. And it always ends up kind of being big fucking tunes. Yeah, exactly. And the being in big tunes indeed. Again, 17 and a half minute songs. Yeah. But being that you this album was so concept driven, I mean, did you... Did the music in itself, kind of similar to the last question I asked, but did the music itself kind of like... Uh, you said you had some songs already written before this, so mm -hmm. but how much did the music change after you guys went through everything? A lot. 
like we, we just kept tweaking things um trying wildly different ideas like shaking up the riffs and the feel like how the drums would hit it taking beats out adding beats um just experimenting a lot with trying to get it the right amount of like tension and weirdness but also like flow and like we wanted it to rock and make people be able to bang their heads and uh, groove to it but also be fucking weird in places so um, then when you have those big long songs you it's hard we did a lot of demoing so that we could hear how these little effects were affecting these huge songs so we did a more demoing than ever this time and just constantly tweaking little ideas to get it intricate work out the intricacies that made the bigger song feel complex even though it's a slow moving beast mm -hmm. you know now, interesting that you say that and this might be a little bit of a what if question um so sorry if it is but uh okay. but like obviously because yab has so many records at this point do you think if you know let's say everything you guys are just making kind of like a follow-up to your previous record yeah how different do you think it would have been you know what I mean? Do you think it would have kind of just been going through the motions or has Yab always taking new approaches into making new music? Um, you mean had Mike not yeah. gotten ill? Yeah. Well, man, we always try and fetch like a, a new, just like a different kind of sound sonically as well as um, vibe wise. We're trying to do something that does not sound like the last record or the one before that, but still touches on the roots of through the years, I feel like there's these things that kind of define Yob, so there's always a lot of that in there, like the tuning or uh, Mike's vocal range or the way Travis plays and the way that I link with Travis and Mike. Like that stuff, that character is always just there. It's, it's in the blood. But we're also trying to make the things that can change and be variable, but with still keeping like a core sound we're always searching for what that can be and what is exciting for us to play and not not um, predictable. Absolutely. Yeah. And Yob's music has always been very experimental, I thought. So trying new things has never had to have been an issue for you guys, right? True. Yeah. yeah. I would say the same thing. Yeah. You, you lo and in the past, have you always had like a preconceived idea for an album or do you, is there any improvising involved? Dude, there's a lot of improvising. Um, but at the same time, there's always a strong vision. And I think Mike helps control that. Whereas Travis are more catalysts for the experimentation. And, you know, we'll, we give ideas for... Oh, shit. Yeah, here no, comes, don't here worry. comes Bell Witch. Yeah. Um, but um, as far as, like, trying new things, tweaking things, and, you know, adding a different kind of beat or, you know, a different kind of melody to the bass or way to lock in... Um, but there's always a strong vision from Mike, but doesn't mean it's going to wind up that way in the end. Yeah. Like we always, we're always pushing it and trying to experiment and do come up with something new that we haven't done before. Um, what was, was there another part to that question? No, that I missed? Okay. not at all. You hit the nail on the head. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, one final question I wanted to ask you actually is because I know that Yab is from Oregon, right? Yes. Yeah. So I know that I'm just going to touch upon the whole Northwestern coast at this point, pretty much, because Oregon having Agaloc and Toxic Holocaust, some awesome bands like that. And then, yeah. you know, Bellwitch coming from Seattle. It almost seems like the Northwest oh, seems like to be like a catalyst spot for the style of music that you guys play. Was it kind of easy to for Yab to... I mean, I know that you, you weren't in the band when Yab started, but right. uh, yeah, yeah. do you think like that area of the United States is like an easy place for a band of your style to get out there. Dude, it really is. I mean, there's, there's a lot of support and, um, I think people feel a lot of that energy that, that some of those bands that you mentioned create, you know, it's dark and rainy a lot of most of the year, you know, about nine months out of the year. And that feel fuels the music. And there's a lot of people in that area that, that, um, connect with that. And, support those kinds of bands will go out to shows and buy merch and keep keep them afloat yeah it it definitely is at the same time there's still quite a variety of there's all kinds of stuff but i feel like it is a hotbed for some heavy dark um kind of all kinds of dark heavy 
Absolutely. And, you know, you mentioned like it's always raining there. It poured rain today, so that might help your set today. Dude, yes. We haven't had much rain this trip. It's been blistering heat and humidity. And mm. Well, I'm sorry you had to do the interview. You just missed the rain of the season just now. Damn. Yep. Don't worry. I blame myself for it. It's okay. We got some water bottles. We can dump on my head. All right. Cool. I want to do it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I want to thank you so much for your time. I'm glad you guys put out a phenomenal record and that mic is doing so much better. Thank um, you. Is there just anything else? I know that you guys have just announced the European tour, mm -hmm. um, but uh, is there any, what else could we be expecting for the cycle of Our Raw Heart Man, that we, you're allowed to we, announce? <laughs> we have nothing planned except for Europe and then some West Coast shows, and um, we're kind of just taking it from there. We'll see what happens after that and um, see, what, see what comes our way. And, figure it out as we go. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Aaron. Thank you so much. Everybody, we are here with Aaron of Ya. Pick up their newest record, Our Raw Heart. It is absolutely beautiful. This is Alex from Heavy New York, and we will see you next time.